Many of you are wondering why I put myself through reading so much garbage. Here is a post that I consider very, very real. And likely the person has empathy, actually. And I will tell you why in a second. First of all, the introduction goes, I talk without knowing what I'm going to say. Very general, right? That's what I do. I tell you one thing. Uh, let's say you introduce yourself to a whole new group. And you have a certain nervousness where you say, you know, I see all you guys are very scripted. You know each other. I'm pretty new here. It's like, sort of like, let me label myself a little bit to warn you and please be cool with me like that. Just an explanation that I may not come off the right way. Now, when you're in a real, uh, in a community of exclusively people with intuition and empathy, you would not feel the need to say it. But I'm assuming this person has read a little bit and actually can tell and pick up on some energies that are not so good. So it's sort of like saying, my priority right now is to express something and get something out. And yes, I know there may be some of you who want to attack certain things I say, but this is, I'm standing behind this and, you know, basically you take the wind out of the sails of the others who try to like nitpick and I mean the, the, the lurkers are always there, right? In this empathy, in this empath group. And they are looking for a way to attack what somebody's saying in order for them to look like they are, they belong there, right? When they actually don't. So I kind of like that. I talk about, I talk without knowing what I'm going to say. I tend to word vomit the truth. I like that word vomit the truth. Just blurt it out, throw it up. You know what I mean? I know what it's like for most people. Most people, you guys are eloquent. You don't really say any. You don't say much. You don't express much, which I keep to myself. I don't want to say as a new person here. But as you are, many of you are, your priority is to, you know, sound nice and sound great. But then after reading it, you know, what did the person actually say? There was nothing really. I'm not like that. I word vomit. I just throw it up. It comes out as it comes out. The truth. Important. Now, never, don't assume anything like narcissism just because somebody has taken a stand and impressed you at one point by saying, I have the truth. I, let me tell you the truth. I know the truth. You don't. Blah, 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 blah. This is not a preachy thing. I tend to. Also, that's not say I'm a speaker of the truth. That means I tend to. I and truth, by the way, it's there, but it's also distant. It's the last word of the sentence. And that means basically it's a given to him or her, whoever, whatever gender we may deal with. Uh, it's like a given. The truth is I, I, I speak when I speak, I speak the truth. I don't hold back. I just say it how it is. So it's not like there. Um, like saying, I speak the truth. You have to accept that. It's not like that. It's, a, by the way, it's a given to this person. It's, it's a sincere statement. I've recently discovered what it actually means to be an empath. Now, this is not saying, hey all, I am an empath too. This is not somebody who's looking for acceptance. This is somebody who, again, is confident inside. I do s tend to speak the truth, or vomit, word vomit the truth, which is 
you know. I guess in society, that's what I'm doing really, you know. I'm word vomiting a lot of times, but honestly, I realize that, you know, I, I get that uh, desire to do it. You know, of course I was raised to first think and then write something nice and then then practice it a little bit and then finally, hell no, hell no. Because I realized that 12, 13 years ago when I woke up in the middle of the night, I made a video and it got like 25,000 views in three weeks or something like that. And I said, oh my gosh, this came out right. This came out in a way I never could have scripted it because if I would have scripted it, I would have, okay, no, this doesn't read, hmm, no. Because sometimes you compare yourself also. You say, okay, let's see what works for other people. Don't do that. At that moment, it's just you and reality as it comes to you. You know what I mean? And it does. And also, there's a big difference. You know, sometimes when you write, you think, oh, I'm going to talk about this and this. And then once you're in front of the camera, you're like, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You think about certain specific people watching you and you think about them listening to you and you think about, hell no, 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 no. I have friends like that, by the way, with whom sometimes I am stuck in a thought and sort of going, maybe drifting towards a wrong direction, but with that person, I snap out of it immediately. I say, wait, 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 disregard. No, no, no. And I, you know, sometimes we need that energy exchange because otherwise we are sort of, you know, on the outside looking into society, which is a big mess, a big chaos, and sometimes too much for, you see, we got to take it step by step, little by little. Otherwise, it's like this Mandela effect thing where we conclude too much, where we conclude an outcome. And by the way, also Mandela effect, something very simple, a simple explanation that a lot is made out of because people like to write books about things that don't require too much effort when it comes to research. This is for entertainment purposes only. I don't know anything. So now he or she says, okay, I've recently discovered what it actually means to be an empath. Is, is an empath. I would like to see if the person is female or male. That actually means makes a difference to me. But in the meantime, uh, yes, I am. I recently discovered what it actually means to be an empath, and that I am one. Yes, there is no proof, no need, no 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 desire like to. Uh, hey, I am. That's what I am. I accept it. It sounds like something. You would say when you actually accept it almost like a condition. Yeah, I am an empath. What can I say, people? Okay, uh, I would like help figuring out if both of these scenarios are to do with that or not. You see, this is the journey inside of you where you feel like certain things that took place in your life impact you greatly. This person may be arch negative, but doesn't really know what it means, or simply, you know, this person may be intuitive, have that special connection, read energies, see through things. Just something is different about me, or there's something about me that most people don't have. I want to know how this connects. Who am I? Why am I different? You see, you, most of you watching this, you have discovered years ago, hey, we are arch negative people and we just click differently. And by the way, I want to say, if you're new, please, anything that has to do with reptilians, aliens, we have copper blood and all of this nonsense, do not associate me or in general, those who view this video or comment with this BS, okay? These are people trying to hijack what's really important. So don't let this discourage you. And I advise you never, ever, ever to like any page, join any group or anything where it is allowed 
to promote this kind of nonsense in a way that it overshadows real research and real self-discovery. Now, I was at an airport, in an airport waiting for my flight when suddenly I couldn't control my breathing. Let me read on. I started hyperventilating and tearing up. My heart was beating so fast. I wasn't anxious of flying. This is when I first realized there is something going on. Probably a female person. See, now I am very interested in actually finding out more about the writer. I guess See, I don't know now if I can do this. I guess I can. My hotspot. Okay, I want to see who this person is. I'm curious. I'm really, really curious, people. And that does make a difference to me. Uh, looks like female also was a psychic empath but removed that can be because psychic that that's a terrible group terrible group I started hyperventilating, tearing up, my heart was beating so fast. I wasn't anxious of flying. This is when I first realized that there's something going on. Well, how do you know you're not anxious of flying, first of all? Okay, like consciously you're like, I, pff, I fly a million times, flying is no big, but suddenly the feeling of vulnerability maybe, I'm, this could go wrong. I love my life. I want to do things. I want to be here for the people who I love and who love me. And a lot of emotions can, can actually enter you that you consciously don't admit to having. Meaning that, you know, something you've done a million times, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's like the, um, yeah, this vulner. You see, I, I personally, I tell you guys, I never had a, not only did I never have a fear of heights, I was super brave in terms of being almost like, because I had moments of protection in my life. And that was until I believe eight years ago or something like that, that I always in my life, every time I was, I mean, I was in situations that were so serious, I didn't even realize until later, but I always kind of slid through it. It always, everything always kind of worked out. You know, that's why I started this many years ago, by the way. This is like one of the oldest uh, discussions I still have up from the original. Do Irish natives have special protection? Because that was something also others have told me. I think you have special protection. But it's not a good thing because the reason that the special protection was so um, obvious is because rather than being on that real path of success in terms of balance with everything, I was sort of testing the waters and being pushed back. You know what I mean? So don't test it. Don't test it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. It may make you feel special for a minute, but then believe me, you're missing out on what's in the center. You know, and, and then when, when one, of my, one of my best friends died, from that moment on, I had a dream. And from that, around that time, it was like, I cannot even look down from like the third floor. I'm like, something, you know, and yes, Donald Trump was right. He said, you shouldn't, I, I'm not talking about my fears <clears throat> because people can, but I don't care. I said it before, I will say it. You know what I mean? That's, that is the, 
It's really, really weird. So it can be a change inside of you. You know, you grow up, you fly all the time. I've been flying since I was maybe two years old, you know what I mean? For me, it's like, okay. My father told me a story where he, there was actually, I remember it actually, I was maybe five or four years old and it was super turbulent and there was a big storm and the plane was, and people were screaming and people were, my father also, he was like, I remember his, the tents, be keeping, well, there were not, a couple of people were screaming. It was not the plane was, but a couple of women, they were, I heard like, <gasps> like that, you know what I mean? So, and my father later talked about, oh my God, I was so scared. And, and Mike, he had a good time. He was enjoying it. I was having, I thought, wow, that was cool. You know, I remember, I was saying, man, that was fun. Wow, that was intense, you know? And I guess, yeah, whatever my, I, I know I, I know kids have intuition already, but maybe my intuition was like, it's gonna be all right. It's just a little bit of a, I had, I liked it. So, yeah, for it can be that because of that for your whole, uh, based on experiencing safety and things working out just fine, that you're like, I'm not scared of flying. Flying is no big deal. Flying is something I do all the time, you know, why, why wouldn't I, you know, but in reality, there's something inside of you that gives you the reality of, wow, this is actually something serious. You're actually at the mercy of God, the world, energy, everything, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I don't, so, so this does make sense to me, actually, the thought the subconscious, unconscious thought of maybe dying and never seeing your loved ones again. The, yeah, the fear, the happen, absolutely, absolutely. That does, I believe that can actually happen for somebody who has, em with empathy. And again, please, if you don't understand what I say, what I'm, how I'm using empathy, look at some other videos or my blog, how I explain what really empathy is. Empathy is intuition intuitive sensitivity being in touch with who you are and the energies of the world and the realities of things you know it, it it's stronger than anything we try to suppress or tell ourselves or accept you know there are we say okay this is just how it's gonna be flying is gonna if everything is no no all of a sudden it's like wow let's face reality for a second this is a scary thing okay do you agree with me? If you don't, please tell me. I can handle it, please, seriously. I was working at a coffee shop in San Diego and this woman came up to an order. Similar to Starbucks, we take their name for the order. She said her name was Emma and without thinking, I said, no, what's your real name? My initial reaction was to apologize, but she looked shocked. She said her name was actually Katarina but no one can pronounce it. This rings a bell to me. And now again, vomiting the truth, how about, I don't swallow vomit, it's disgusting, but how about just taking this one in? Yeah, I had situations like that many, many times. Many times, yeah. Somebody gives you a fake name, not trying, <laughs> which is kind of weird, by the way. I, I, even with actors, I'm often wondering, like, I don't, I cannot see myself with a fake name, really. It would hurt, it would not feel, I don't know if, well, Cary Grant did it, and he was a Jewish, and empathy, intuition, all this negative. He, yeah, I, I guess I can if it's a career, if it's something that has to do with, um, you know, it's my job. You know, my name is Archibald, Archibald Leach, what his real name was, but my job is Cary Grant. Yeah, I can see that. But then, of course, he changed his name when he became a US citizen. He legally changed his name to Cary Grant. Yeah, you can pick up, of course. Somebody says, hi, my name is Emma. No, it's not. It's intuition. That's just the, 
you know, and it's not a plant thing. It's just, it clicks that way. It's like, no, it isn't. So the question is now, would both of these scenarios be due to having emp empathic absorption? Thank you for your help. Well, that's a good way to put it actually. Intuitive absorption may be more like it, but my answer is, of course, absolutely. That's, uh, you see, that's how it works when you, when things just come to you. And it's not like worth it. It's not like, hmm, I'm wondering if this is her real name or I'm interested in this person or this or that. It's just that the reality just comes to you. And the same way you blurt out the realities. And I don't like the word truth too much because it's being used the same way woke is being abused, the same way so much terminology, okay? And I know that you guys, when you're watching, if you're watching my video, chances are you see through all the crap anyways. It's no big deal. But you see, this is one of these people that I actually am in that group for because this post makes sense. Chances are this is really a person with empathy.